Amir, what's up? What's up? So you like horror movies, man? Uh, not really. Welcome to Horror on the Clock. I'm your host, Reggie, today, and I'm here with... Amir. Have you seen any, like, horror movies in the past, like, five years? Like, in the theater? Oh, yeah. Um, I recently got into... Um, uh, what's the movie with Ghostface? Um, I I can't even be able, I wouldn't be able to tell you to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been watching that. I've started from the first movie, which was started in the '90s, and watched all five. Mm -hmm. And I finished the last one recently, like a month ago, and I enjoy those. There aren't too many like now. I speak of there aren't too many black horror movies out there either. Like, can you name a few? Or One that came out recently this year with all the black people that was uh, in the house, and then there were two white people that came in and tried to kill them all. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. The only black horror movies I know are, like, Jordan Peele movies. Mm. You ain't a big fan? No. I'm going to be honest with you. Get Out's a little overrated to me. What? That movie's good. It's, uh, I like Note better, though, with the um, thing in the sky. See, I ain't watched that one yet. You didn't watch it yet? No. You got to watch it. I mean, I'm not a fan of Kiki Palmer. She's really annoying in that movie. But if you like the guy from Get Out, um, I forgot his name, African guy. But um, like I said, it's a real, real good show. I watched The Pope's Exorcist recently. What's that about? Um, basically, this girl got possessed. So they, they called a pope from a whole nother country to come and try to, like, uh, get the demon out. And it was just a lot of crazy stuff that happened. But in the end, he was able to get the demon out. From a 1 to 10, how scary would you say it is? Uh, like a 6. Means it ain't too scary, but it ain't like... Nah. For sure, for sure. Do you like body horror? Like, you know, with like limbs coming out and like bones popping out and whatnot? Like Terrifier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's this movie called The Thing that I think you should watch. It's like a group of like 10 guys. It came out in the 70s. So like, it's cheesy, but like, it's real. Like... You have people's um, arms coming off. You got um, people's eyes popping out and whatnot. And dogs are eating each other. And what it, it, like I said, it's a lot, but you got to watch it. It's like, you know, it's like that old school feeling to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, there's this other film called, um, what was I about to say? Jesus, I can't forget. I mean, I can't remember. Excuse me. Uh, I forgot. I forgot. But, um... What would be your ideal pitch for, like, a good horror movie? A lot of blood. Blood? You like blood and gore? Yeah. You're not a fan of, like, haunting? Nah, not really. So you haven't seen any movies in, like, the um, Conjuring universe, like The Nun, Annabelle? Oh, yeah, I watched The Nun. You watched the recent one? No. Oh, wow. Like, you got to see it, man. The Nun, to me, is, like, the scariest horror movie I've ever seen. Pe a lot of people should watch horror movies. I feel like they have, like, a good vibe to them. If you ask me, like, they're so realistic. Like, I feel like, man, I could really run into this in real life. Just to let everyone out there know that horror movies, they're fun for everybody. You know, anyone can watch them. You know, they make them for different subjects, different genres and whatnot. But, yeah, like I said, it was it was good having you here, man. Yeah. Take it easy. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.